Welcome back to Half Moon's Picks. Week 12 is here already. Boy, time has passed by quickly. Um, last week I went two and two. Didn't get my teaser. I won on the uh, Kansas. I lost on the Kansas City game, and I, I lost on the Washington game on Thursday night. But I did beat Detroit and the uh, Chargers. So two and two, not too bad. Lost the juice. So uh, last week's winners, uh, week 11, War Machine has won. Uh, 83 points came in first place uh, last week, but uh, Bridgewater's finest still in the lead 803 points looks like he's starting to roll um, Hat box is 765 just underneath him and roll RMC 747 a third place me. I jumped up two spots uh, Got up to 656 points now in 13th place. So yay me <laughs> anyways this week is going to be only 13 games, so it's going to be a short week. Might be a short video. I'm going to try to ramble through as much as I can. Week 11 was the uh, had 10 favorites and four dogs, so a lot of favorites cashed out last week, so not a Vegas day. Um, the alternate helmets, alternate helmets. Uh, there's only one I got on my list is the the Colts Indiana Knights helmet right here. Um, they have it's just the same helmet they usually have, but instead of white, it's black. Buys this week is the Atlanta Falcons, the Buffalo Bills, the Cincinnati Bengals, the Jacksonville Jaguars, New Orleans Saints, and the New York Football Jets. All right, that being said, let's get on with the show. And my number one pick of the week, we got the Tennessee T Titans traveling. Houston Texans. Houston Texans are an eight and a half point favorite. Uh, Houston won the last three matchups between these two teams. Uh, beating uh, last week, they also beat uh, Dallas 34 to 10. That was just a curb stop there. Uh, Tennessee uh, beat, and the two wins they do have this season, only beat New England and Miami with their second string uh, quarterback, uh, Tyler uh, Huntley. Uh, so uh, Tennessee on a two game losing streak. The Houston Texans are on a short week this week, so I think they'll get the job done. So give me the Houston Texans minus eight and a half. My number two pick of the week, we got the New England Patriots traveling the Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins are a seven point home favorite. Uh, Miami's won the last four uh, matchups in Miami and they won by more than seven all four of those matches. New England's the 32nd ranked defense and only the 18th ranked offense. This should be easy win. It is a divisional game, but I'll take the Miami Dolphins, minus seven. And my third pick of the week, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers traveling to the New York Giants. Tampa Bay Buccaneers are a five and a half point road favorite. Uh, Tampa Bay, both these teams coming off a bye. Uh, Tampa Bay is uh, on a four game losing streak and the Giants are on a five game losing streak. So I think that Tampa Bay is going to turn it around here. Uh, Daniel Jones for the Giants have been benched. They're going to bring in uh, Tommy Vito as quarterback. Um, last year, this is only his second year. Last year he, he did pretty good. Uh, he had uh, eight TDs and three interceptions, 89.2 uh, passer rating. Um, so it's hard to say how well he's going to play the this uh, this week um, he, he is three and one at home as well so I was like kind of uh, you know debating on this game Mike Evans is questionable he may return as well so give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers minus five and a half and last but not least we got the Detroit Lions traveling to the Indianapolis Colts the Detroit Lions are a seven and a half point road favorite uh, yeah this is uh, Lions have been just destroying teams, especially bad teams. Uh, Detroit is uh, 21 and nine ATS wise uh, at, after a win. So yeah, they're number one in the last two years since 2002 or 2022 rather. Uh, Detroit's number one in TDs uh, from all the NFL and scoring 42 of them. Uh, the Detroit's uh, eight and two ATS and four and one on the road, uh, but Indianapolis is uh, eight and three ATS and four and one at home as well. But to me, the Detroit Lions all year round been a cash cow only twice all season have they not cashed. That was against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the 
uh, the Houston Texans when they had five interceptions. So for me, give me the Detroit Lions minus seven and a half. All right, that's it for the week. Um, just go down the rundown. Uh, let me give you my three-team teaser. I didn't hit last week, but this week uh, looking pretty good. This, this is a week I'm not going to bet a lot of money on. It's just I don't know what it is. Short amount of games, a lot of divisional matchups. So, uh, three-team teaser. I like the Kansas City Chiefs minus five, the San Francisco 49ers plus eight and a half, and the LA Chargers plus nine. That looks real good to me. All right, let's go uh, do through the rundown. We got Thursday night matchup. Pittsburgh Steelers traveling to the Cleveland Browns. Uh, Pittsburgh's on a five-game win streak. Uh, you know, I'm pretty pr impressed with Pittsburgh. I mean, I, I never thought they'd be this good this season. You know, this uh, this far into the season, I should say. Uh, Pittsburgh's three and a half point uh, road dogs. I mean, road favorites. Uh, Cleveland uh, four and one. And the last five matchups in Cleveland between these two teams. Uh, Pittsburgh's eight and two ATS and uh, the 4-1 ATS on the road. So Pittsburgh's got the numbers, but it's a divisional matchup. Uh, and, and Cleveland's got the history. So, uh, you know, three and a half points. Maybe if it was maybe by the, by the hook. All right, uh, the next game, we got the Minnesota Vikings traveling to the Chicago Bears. Minnesota Vikings are a three, uh, three-point road favorite. Uh, Vikings on a three-game win streak. Chicago's on a four-game losing streak. Uh, Minnesota is on back-to-back -back road games. Uh, there is a small chance of rain, like 12%. Uh, Minnesota Vikings is 4-0 uh, in Chicago, the last four meetings. Like I said, divisional matchup, hard to say. Uh, Chicago uh, hung in there with Green Bay last week, so can they do it with uh, Minnesota? Who knows? Uh, the Dallas Cowboys, next we got Dallas Cowboys traveling to the Washington Commanders. Uh, Dallas, uh, Washington Commanders are a 10.5 point home favorite. Uh, so I got burnt the last two weeks betting on uh, Washington, and now they're a ten and a half point home favorite. I know Dak Prescott's out, and they're gonna play Cooper Rush, but uh, man, <laughs> ten and a half point—that's a lot. Uh, Dallas is on a five-game losing streak because you know their, their quarterback got injured. But this is a divisional matchup, man. Ten and a half point. So uh, I don't know about that one. Uh, next, we got the Kansas City Chiefs traveling to the Carolina Panthers. Kansas City Chiefs is a 11-point uh, road dog, uh, favorite. So, whew, Kansas City's on back-to-back -back road games. Uh, Carolina off a of bye, so they, Carolina got more rest to prepare for two weeks against Kansas City. Kansas City, you know, back-to-back -back road games. Uh, since 2022, Kansas City 6-2-1 ATS after a loss. So they lost last week. Um, and Carolina's uh, won their last two games. You know, if you're feeling ballsy, take you know Carolina with that 11 points. But uh, Carolina's a one and three uh, against the AFC this season. Uh, and KC, see, KC's only winning by average or like six points. And here they are at 11. So I know Carolina's bad, but they're on a two-game win streak. So all right next we got the denver broncos traveling to the las vegas raiders denver broncos five and a half point road favorite uh vegas is eight and oh in the last eight games in las vegas uh but uh vegas is on a six game losing streak they're just you know giving away players this is a divisional matchup though but denver's been you know rocking it so all right uh next we got the arizona cardinals traveling to the uh, seattle seahawks this is a pick em game uh, Arizona's off a of bye. Uh, this is also a divisional game as well. Uh, Arizona has a four game win streak. Uh, this is a 65% chance of rain. This was going to be one of my picks, uh, but you know, the rain, uh, looking at the uh, stats, Seattle's 5 0 in the last uh, five meetings. So Seattle's good at home versus uh, the Cardinals, and they won the last two matches at home. Seattle's 5-0 and in the last five meetings and won the last two in uh, Seattle. So Arizona's the number six in rush at 1494. So if it does rain, Arizona's the game, that the, the team to pick. And uh, because Seattle's only 29th in ranks uh, as far as rushing goes, 915 yards. So they're, they're down near the bottom. So hope for rain. If it does rain, take Arizona. Uh, next, we got the San Francisco 49ers traveling to the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers, two and a half point favorite. You know, like I, said, I like this on a teaser, uh, adding you know that uh, eight and a half points uh, with San Francisco. 
Uh, there is a 34% chance of rain, but this is pretty much a coin toss. If it goes up to three, you know, you definitely take San Francisco. <clears throat> Next, we got the Philadelphia Eagles traveling to the Los Angeles Rams. Eagles are a three-point road favorite. Uh, Philly's on a six-game win streak. Uh, they are number two in the rush, whereas the Rams are 28th in rush. But again, the Rams are nine, ninth in passing, and only uh, the Philadelphia Eagles are only 24th in passing. You know, you think the Eagles would do pretty well in passing this season, but they're not. Uh, next, we have the Baltimore Ravens traveling to the LA Chargers. This is a Monday night football game. Uh, Baltimore is a three-point road favorite. This week, a lot of road favorites, a lot of divisional matchups, a lot of less uh, games played as well. <clears throat> uh, Baltimore is on back-to-back -back road games. Baltimore is number two in passing uh, as Cincinnati just passes them up. Uh, the LA Chargers, uh, number one defense in the NFL. So you got the number two passer versus the number one defense. Uh, the Chargers only allowing 14.5 points per game. So yeah, their defense, I would have never guessed the Chargers in a million years, their, their defense is number one. All right, that's it for the week. I like that, uh, some of these games, but you know, I'm not gonna lay a whole lot of money, so. I wish you guys a lot of luck and uh, thanks a lot for uh, coming and stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next week. Peace.